hey guys i hope you're doing well and welcome back to another video so in this one we are going to look at how we can use sockets in our projects here as you can see i have this setup and in this case i am using sockets in two different use cases first i am using a head socket for the head of my third person character and using that i'm able to attach a hat to my skeletal mesh and next i have this drone here and i am using two sockets for each gun to define the location of the projectiles that i want to fire from the drone so let's jump right in and see how we can use sockets in different situations in our projects All right, so sockets are basically special attachment points that you can add to a static mesh or a skeletal mesh. They allow you to attach other objects like weapons, lights, or effects to specific locations on a mesh. You can add them to skeletal meshes and static meshes. And in this case, we are going to start with our third person character and this queen simple skeletal mesh so here i have a third person template and this is my default character and here in the blueprint i have this skeletal mesh here so here in the skeletal mesh editor you can see that these are the bones in the skeletal mesh and here in my skeleton tree i am able to access different bones here I can attach sockets to these bones and later use the position of the socket. So here, for example, let me select the head socket. And here, as you can see, I'm able to right click and here hit add socket. Now you have this head socket here and now you are able to place it wherever you like and adjust the position. Now you are able to attach objects to this socket in this skeletal mesh editor and also in your blueprint so here let's uh, go to fab and download a hat for our third person character and see how it looks on the socket that we just created so here let me search for free models and let's grab this one here Now here is my static mesh and here as you can see the pivot point is far from the mesh itself so when we attach this to our socket it will look weird and we need to do something about it but first let's see how we can make the hat visible inside our editor all you need to do is to right click on the socket and here add a preview asset so here let's search for the hat and now you can see that the hat is attached to our socket now we are able to adjust the position the rotation and the scale of any object that is attached to the socket here as i mentioned before the pivot point is not where it should be so let me fix it quickly all you need to do is to go to your modeling mode here in x form you can edit the pivot point so let's put it somewhere here in the middle of the mesh hit accept and now you can see that the pivot point is where it should be now here you can see it's looking much better and now you need to just simply adjust the scale the rotation and the position of the socket to place it properly on your skeletal mesh now the thing here is that this is only a preview asset so here you won't be able to see your hat on top of the head and even if you play the game you can see that it's not there so here we need to basically add a static mesh to our blueprint 
and here just select the hat you just downloaded and next all you need to do is to parent it to the mesh like this and after that all you need to do is to choose the socket you just made now you can see that it's attached to the socket you made and it's moving based on the animation here as you can see we have some values for the location and the rotation and it's the reason that it's floating on there and it's not in its place so zero out these values and now you can see that we have the hat based on the placement of the socket that we made here for the skeletal mesh now you can see that when you play the game you have the object and everything is working perfectly you can also add sockets to static meshes as well so in this case i have this drone here and it's rotating based on the position of my third person character and what i want to do is to add projectiles on the guns here so it can shoot me from the location of the guns and this is where i can use sockets in the static mesh as well so this is the setup for the drone and if you're interested in how to set this up you can watch this video here it gets the location of the third person character in the level and then turns the location into a rotation value and sets the rotation of the actor based on that i also have this projectile blueprint here and it's just a cylinder and a projectile movement so it moves when the game is played based on the values defined in this projectile movement component so what i want to do is to spawn this projectile in front of the guns and in order to do that i need the location of these barrels here and in this situation again we can use sockets so let's go to our static mesh here and add the sockets in front of the guns here you have this socket manager and if you're not able to see it go to window and here enable socket manager now hit this plus icon here and as you can see i have my socket here so let's name it left gun and place it somewhere here then hit ctrl d to duplicate hit f2 to rename and name it right gun and place it in front of the other one now we are able to access these locations from the blueprint that is using this static mesh so here in my drone blueprint i am able to get my drone then search for get socket location and here when i define the name of the socket it will return the relative location of the socket so here let's duplicate the name and paste it here and then for example let's uh, draw a debug sphere on this location here so let's set the duration on 60 and the thickness on 2 and here as you can see the debug sphere is drawn based on the location of the socket this is drawn when the game is played so when the drone rotates the debug sphere doesn't rotate with it but uh, here as you can see we have 
access to the location of the socket and everything is working perfectly. All right, now what I want to do is to spawn this projectile on this location here. So let's delete this guy here. Then set timer by event and using this function we are able to call a bunch of functions based on a time period so here let's add a custom event name it fire plug this to this delegate like this then for example let's set this time on 0.2 and enable the loop so when this gets called this event gets called every 0.2 seconds and this way we are able to uh, shoot the projectile based on this time period here so here we only need to spawn actor from class and the class is going to be our projectile so we need to search for bp projectile for the transform we need a location a rotation and a scale so let's split this pin and for the location we are going to use the location of the socket that we just made so let's plug this in for the scale we are going with one but uh, for the rotation we need the rotation of the drone so all you need to do is to get actor rotation and the target itself so it gets the rotation of the drone blueprint and yeah that's it now you can see that it spawns the projectile every 0.2 seconds on the location that we defined using the socket I also want this gun to be active too so all you need to do here is to add a flip-flop and repeat the same process for the other socket as well so let's duplicate everything like this then plug the other output to this function here and this time we are going to use the other socket so here let's copy the name and paste it like this so for the first time that this event fires this function will be called using the location of the left gun and next this one will be called using the location of the right gun and this will go on so now you can see that it's firing like this yeah and that's it for this tutorial so in this one we looked at two use cases of sockets in our project and i hope this was useful for you so if you learned something new from this tutorial please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel see you in the next video